distribution basics uh, primary level problems in normal distribution for the students who are beginners in studying probability probability distribution and normal distribution let us take the case in which mean is given to be 21.5 this is the sign of mean normal used in normal distribution and that is known as mu it is called mu so mean or mu is 21.5 the standard deviation of the data is 2.5 this is small sigma there are two kinds of signs of sigma this is big or capital sigma that is sign of summation or total and this is small sigma which is normally used as sign of population or normal distribution find probability of 18 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 25 x is the sign which is generally used as a sign of variable or statistical data in statistics mathematics etc here it is sign of the say numerical data what is the probability that at particular moment x takes value between 18 and 25 both inclusive here x can take value either 18 or 25 or in between now to solve any problem of normal distribution we have to consider z or z score that is standard normal variate z z is any value of the variable minus mean divided by standard deviation popularly it is spoken as x minus mu upon standard uh, upon small sigma or x minus mean upon standard deviation here x has two possible limits so let us first take x equals to 18 so first z will be 18 minus 21.5 divided by 2.5 that means minus 3.5 divided by 2.5 so first value of z is negative 1.4 now another or higher limit of x is 25 for that z will be 25 minus 21.5 upon 2.5 that is positive 3.5 upon 2.5 so here z takes value positive 1.4 now what a sketch of probability curve or normal it is always from negative infinity to positive infinity the mean or the variable takes value exactly equivalent to mean in the middle of the curve here variable is equivalent to mean 21.5 and therefore z is always 0 now we know that the left hand side area where x takes value less than mean is 0.5 from x equals to mean to x equals to negative infinity similarly in the right hand side area the variable takes value greater than mean from x equivalent to mean to positive infinity the area is 0.5 this area itself is probability now let us take the data of this problem first value of z is minus 1.4 because here x takes value less than mean so it falls in the left hand side region here x takes value 18 and therefore z comes to minus 1.4 now if x falls in this region its value will be greater than 18 but less than mean or less than 21.5 now another value z is positive 1.4 z is positive because x takes value greater than mean so it falls in the right hand side region this is a sketch so no standard distance or uh, anything is to be maintained 
but it should be somewhat symmetric. X takes value 25, therefore Z takes value positive 1.4. If X falls in this region, X has value less than 25 but more than mean or 21.5. So ultimately we can interpret that if X falls in this region, this one, then only it takes value between 18 and 25. Or actually, if X takes value 18 to 25, both inclusive, then only it falls in this region. Now, so far as the norm, standard normal variate Z is concerned, the area between Z0 and any value of Z, whether it is positive or negative, area remains area. Area can never be negative or positive. Area is actually always positive. So, the area between Z0 and particular value of Z either left hand side or right hand side is the probability of staking the value in that which falls in that particular region. So if we use the readily available tables of area under the normal curve, the area between Z0 and Z1.4 comes to 0.41924 Now here also it is the area between Z0 and Z1.4 So same area of this side is also covered 0.41924 The interpretation of this area is Area between Z0 and Z-1.4 is 0.41924 That means the probability of X taking value between 18 and mean is 0.41924. Similarly, on right hand side, the area between Z0 and Z1.4 is 0.41924. That means the probability that X can take value between mean or 21.5 and 25 is 0.41924. We are interested in both the areas. So logically, the probability is nothing but summation of these two values. So the probability of 18 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 25 equals to probability minus 1.4 less than or equal to z less than or equal to positive 1.4 it is not necessary every time to write this just to understand the concept that means 0 0.41924 plus 0 0.41924 you can also write that area between z0 and z1.4 plus area between z0 and z positive 1.4 so it comes to 0 0.8385 or other 838 So this is the probability that x variable x can take value between 18 and 25 if it follows normal distribution We can also express the probability in terms of percentage if we just multiply the probability by 100 that's it. Thank you very much.